Well, this fall, Oklahoma wheat growers are expected to plant the fewest acres of that crop since 1971. Low prices brought on by stiff global competition have contributed to the downturn along with movement toward more profitable crops, a trend that was fully visible this summer. As our Lisa Hines shows us, fields once full of Oklahoma's golden waves of grain are looking a bit more yellow. You may see the pretty yellow flowers as you drive by, yet may not understand their significance. It's clean, it's green, and it makes your pocketbook go ka-ching. Canola, a crop new to Oklahoma. Jeff Scott is the president of the Great Plains Canola Association. This is a high value oil seed crop, uh, primarily used for food grade oil, can also be used as an excellent biodiesel feed stock. And then the meal that comes out of it after processing is a very valuable livestock feed, uh, high in protein and with a good oil complex for, for feeding uh, all classes of livestock. Used as a rotational crop to control weeds within wheat fields, Jeff is pleasantly surprised by how effective canola is proving to be. I'm a 12-year no-tiller, so I needed a rotation that, that would actually work and be, be profitable or even a break-even. I was willing to do it for a break-even back then, uh, something to help improve our wheat, or wheat control in wheat and increase profitability. And it's uh, been more than I ever could have hoped for in that respect. Average yields from canola fields are similar to wheat, yet the price per bushel is more than double. But until recently, high transportation costs cut into profits. Up until 2008, Oklahoma canola producers had to find a market for their canola. But according to Gary Conkling, president of the producer's cooperative oil mill, not anymore. Well, before we got into the, to the business, delivery points for canola were either Mexico or North Dakota. I, I think that's a key deal in making this work, is having a more local market for, for people to take their crops which is helping to make this golden crop ripe for profit. Uh, wheat has become my companion crop now. Um, I am, I've turned myself from being a, a wheat and cattle producer into a canola producer. The um, amount of revenue that we can take from this crop far surpasses wheat at the current wheat prices. Uh, when we do grow wheat following this, we see a big increase in yields, uh, no dockage, uh, just an overall better quality of wheat. So it, it makes the total farming operation more uh, sustainable and, and profitable. Making what started out as just a rotational crop, now worth its weight in gold.